Hey up, this is uh, Droider from Multirotor Forums. And no, this isn't the um, Skyjib 4 light build I'm doing, but the reason I've not been posting quite as regularly as I thought I was going to do is that uh, we're just at commissioning stage on that lot. Uh, but of an evening, I can play here on my bench and. Um, yeah, story so far. Uh, power distribution board made, uh, flight controller stack made, and um, the frame and motors wired and bulleted, ready for assembly. Um, it's taken a while because I've wanted to concentrate on getting it as neat as can and tight up and stuff not scattered everywhere. Um, I've used the Droid Works. Uh, power distribution board, uh, 40 amp opto ESCs. Um, it could do with a few pads on here for just taking accessories off. I've I've taken uh, power uh, monitoring for the TM1000 for the telemetry, power for the WMK um, or WKM, whatever. <laughs> I always get that wrong way around. Power for the Castle Beck. Uh, and a couple of others just in case because I ain't going to be able to get to that very easily when it's actually installed um, with the um, yeah in the unit um, so that's the power distribution board uh, flight controller stack I've, I'm using the Spectrum um, DX18 radio uh, with the AR and uh, 9020 um, receiver and the expansion module so I've got channels for maybe switching lighting or um, retracts if I put them on etc etc I've got telemetry on here and the new system from Spectrum with the GPS sensor gives me uh, my location and um, altitude and direction etc etc down to the DX18 um, and it records that onto the SD card so you do have a record also an altitude sensor from takeoff so I keep within the limits castle control back uh, for the servos on the gimbal and for the lighting the lighting I'm going to use um, these some lighting for aero modelers I've used them before they're very bright um, I'm not using LEDs strips on this uh, I don't think I want them on um, orientation I suppose I get better uh, as you fly more and so I'm not going to go with LEDs for that uh, I'm using the Skyline on the AV200 pro tire um, fingers crossed it's going to work um, if not then it'll, I'll go to the Radian uh, I've got all the wires into this little box that's mounted on the servo head um, so I just need to sort that wiring out but that's not really the main priority as far as camera controls go I'm hopefully going to use this from Gentle's LEDs um, for the for the Sony uh, I use the ones for the Canon from them uh, with a light indicator light um, or possibly this one which is the microcopter one which again I've got into a nice little box which will mount on some velcro or uh, what I have been using now so you can just move things around and play around is the um, 3M uh, dual lock so you can actually just take things off and on uh, which is quite handy because it just snaps in and it's uh, yeah it's uh, brilliant stuff so much better than the velcro that I've been using in the past another little thing I've found um, is this dual adapter for power uh, that's going to come off the castle back. Um, yeah, and that's about it for now. So hopefully by weekend um, it'll all be up and running and we'll get a maiden on it. Okay, laters.